Good evening to you. I'm Sharif Lello. Mike Dardis has the night off. The men accused of breaking into an Indian Hill home over the weekend are all facing high bonds tonight. Police say they robbed former high profile attorney Stan Chesley and his wife, federal judge Susan DeLott. Today, WLWT News Science Andrew Centers talked to the family of one of those suspects who said they are shocked he was involved. The three men were each hit with a multi million dollar bond and a list of charges. Terry Jackson, $2.5 million bond. Daryl Kenny, $2.75 million. He's also accused of breaking out a window and running from police. Demetrius Williams, another $2.5 million bond. All three are charged with abduction and kidnapping. Police say the men broke into the home of former attorney Stan Chesley and his wife, federal judge Susan DeLaw. After their arraignment today, the family of Terry Jackson wanted to speak about his role. He's never been in trouble in his life. Wasn't raised that way. In court, the attorney for Terry Jackson said he was a LaSalle grad working three jobs who'd never been in trouble with the law before. The other two men were recently released from prison for another burglary after serving two years. He grew up with one. He lives a street over and he, he just embraced him. You know, that was his friend, but um, I hate that he was running with him. That's not my son. He's so out of, this is so out of character for him. They influenced him. And, and, and that's, that's the issue. Be, you know, he, he, he come out of a nice home. He has, his mom is nice. He has everything. That was influence. They influenced him. All three were caught in a car with an arsenal of weapons. Police say all three were armed during the break in. Jackson's family has a message for the victims. I hope um, the victims are doing fine and we're praying for a speedy recovery. Chesley has a concussion from a fall down the stairs. DeLott was not hurt. From the Hamilton County Justice Center, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. Well, police believe the suspects followed the couple home before the break-in, but police do not believe these suspects knew who they were targeting.